Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Play Grand Lee Sherman's Little War Generals 2. Um, yeah, so this episode will, um, well, I'm going to be trying a campaign, and I think I mentioned that maybe in the, uh, the last moment, um, I mean the tailing end of last episode. Uh, maybe I didn't, but I want to try a campaign, uh, because I tried a couple of battles now. So let's go into the campaign and I have to choose uh, to play as the confederate because I played as a union side um, the last time around that first uh, bull run for like six episodes straight so I guess I play as a confederate yeah and then incidentally I played two battles uh, first being the Blackburn Fort and followed by the first bull run 48 turn epic basically, that is basically what the bull run campaign consists of so I guess you know, I basically played the campaign, although I changed sides uh, midway. But they did feature the same cast of um, characters, the same generals like James Longstreet, um, Sherman, Richardson, Burnside, those uh, other colorful characters. Basically considered I played Bull Run campaign. Uh, but then of course, between the campaign, there's also that uh, option of, um, you know, refitting your troops and upgrading their troop equipment and stuff like that so that was missing um, so this time around I like to try a campaign and um, want to keep it chronologically um, you know advancing from that big battle so I was looking into either late 1861 or early 1862 and um, I think one of the first battles or first major campaign that happened um, in the early 1862 was um, either McLaren's um, amphibious attack in his march toward the Richmond, Virginia, or the, um, there was something going on in the Western campaign, but then one of the most well-known generals that were involved uh, was actually the one conducted by Stonewall Jackson, because I'm playing as a confederate side. The Jackson in the Valley seems to come up early in 1862, and it features a string of uh, smaller battles, not big uh, epic that was a bull run. The more regimental kind of strength uh, campaign so um, this is what i want to try and it features uh, how many battles it's uh kernstown mcdowell front royal winchester cross keys and port republic so it features um around seven battles seven battles and i think these are around 20 to 30 turns each so if i make it more efficient streamlined but i'm going to be around 14 uh, more involved episodes so let's go and check the options and no music advanced and um, yeah all right so let's start so here is a description major general stonewall jackson took over command of the southern forces in the shenandoah valley at the end of 1861 his main concern was to prevent the union from overrunning the valley an ideal passage that would allow the enemy to move south into the heart of confederate territory. By posing a potential threat to the northern capital, he might also succeed in diverting northern attention away from southern targets. The Shenandoah Valley was the breadbasket of the south. Without it, her soldiers and citizens would have a tough time feeding themselves. Both sides knew this, so the north sent a force under General Banks in the spring to seize control. Southern General Lee relied upon General Jackson and his Stonewall Brigade to keep the valley in confident hands. With his small force, never numbering more than 17,000, he managed to do just that. In a brilliant campaign of tactics, maneuver, concentration of force, Jackson managed to best the Union forces. Although the Northern forces numbered some 33,000 troops, Jackson always seemed to be where the Union least expected him in greater numbers than they. He utilized the cover of the Massanutan Mountains to his advantage and kept on the move, sometimes marching his men as far as 35 miles in a single day. His victories at McDowell, Port Republic, Cross Keys, and Winchester elevated Jackson to legendary status, and Jackson's stature is well deserved since his efforts kept the vital Shenandoah in Confederate hands for another two years. Okay, so uh, really um, I have my work cut out for me to try to match Jackson here because he's supposed to have made his name here um, and then uh, basically vaulted him to this uh, legendary status, almost rivaling that of Lee. Um, wow, okay. 
But then this was really important, I guess, for the Confederacy because you you know its uh, valley is a very fertile place and was serving as a breadbasket for the South. So I mean, yeah, that's pretty important. And you can see here we start out with uh, these forces, and I think we'll be uh, having some reinforcements down the road. Let's see, here is reinforcement port, and starting on March 23rd, 8 o'clock, and you can see more of the men arriving. You can see the men numbers are rather small compared to the last battle at Bull Run, because that was actually the brigade level of control, since a lot more men were involved, and here it's a more of a, uh, what do you call it, regiment level, so a lot less men are involved. Yeah, so we keep we get stream of men here, basically ending with 11:30. Um, yeah, with the reinforcement artillery. So we don't really get a lot of men, but just have to see where we can put them towards some good use. And here is a zoomed out map. Um, it's a rather small map compared to the last uh, Manassas region. Yeah, so you have Kernstown here, and this is these are the beginning victory points or victory points that we start out with. So let's check it out. And um, yeah, so if we gain control, then we get more points than the Union. So I guess this is definitely for us to capture, and maybe speed is of the essence. Um, we have Kernstown itself and the surrounding hills to capture and also on the left flank as well and uh, there's a road leading into it to this area um, yeah so these are basically the main battlefield i think it's going to be very uh, important for us to move very quickly and maybe even get these guys toward starting toward the left flank while the reinforcement will uh, fill in and try to reinforce the positions that is uh, closest to him. Okay, so I mean, that's going to be something that I think is going to be rather involved, but um, let me just try to see if I can go in and uh, have a look. And we have to scout and see whether these guys, these guys will be arriving. And um, as for the artillery, I think um these guys okay so range is five and it's horse artillery which is uh, i guess is able to move faster on the on the road okay so pretty decent artillery um okay so hmm well i guess i can move these guys right now here and then see what happens we have to make a decision whether to move these guys here or continue uh, these guys to move and then get these guys over here or something so that when the union union forces come then we'll be able to hit them uh, these are the hills and i think the terrain height will reflect that yeah so six being the tallest point and also here so i think the horse carriage can also go here um, but then you'll not be able to support the most important uh, areas yeah so the most important areas are around here so we need to concentrate around here first i guess uh, but some of the forces right now can you know can try to go and then see if they can uh, capture here and then maybe battle the union forces around here if they're quick enough uh, Union can still try to go around this area and then hit us from the back, but I think it's going to be... Um, yeah, it's going to take some time. And then we can just try to keep the guys occupied here and uh, maybe get a force. Uh, try to prevent their attack from the rear um, by protecting the you know space here. I think the river here, I don't know whether it can be crossed. So we have to see. Alright, so we have all these guys. Uh, I don't really know any of these guys' name. Garnett, Talia Farrow, Fulkerson, Allen. I don't really know any of these guys. Um, okay, so let's go and then see if we can capture here first. 
and then uh, these guys will yeah follow the the lead of the cavalry. Okay, I say I should say valley. I guess valley one. Hey, yeah, I think the zoomed out zoomed out map is also pretty useful. Okay, so I oh, okay, so these Virginians arrived. Okay, so we are fighting in Virginia. Oh, yeah, we see these guys now. Yeah, so these guys are busy um, rushing down. I think we are closer. Artillery could go here. Yeah, and then I think we we might have to get you know the infantry up on the hills. If we can get to here, it might be pretty cool. Uh, but the artillery seems to be very fearsome. Yeah, they have like a lot of artillery. They have like three artillery pieces coming along, and um, also there's some uh, yeah Ohioans. Ohio, Ohioans? Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> Ohio um, based uh, regiment coming in. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, so let's check the yeah, smooth bore Napoleon cannon. Uh, I remember using it in the last battle. Okay, so we need to take at least this point using the infantry. And. Uh, I think I get these guys here, yeah. These guys here and then they'll situate themselves here and then maybe they will to see um, the wide swath of this area. These guys will follow up to this house, I don't know what this is called. Yeah, right, it doesn't, doesn't have a name but yeah, we're going into Preacher's Hill and um, the Sandy Ridge can wait, although I'm going to be bringing some of these guys. And I'm going to be also getting these guys um, back on the road. Yeah, and um, yeah, they're starting to lose some men, of course, because of the uh, attrition. Yeah, this is way more... Um, I don't know whether you, you guys can see it, but this is way more uh, controllable. Yeah, I'm gonna keep to this for now. And then see if he can um, zoom in as we end the turn. So, um, yeah, so we are about to go up to the preacher's hill, and these guys do have the. can come back, I think, because they have scouted, and then they don't want to get blasted. This guy seems to be already set up, though. Weird. This guy already seems to be set up. They're, um, they're unlimbered. They're probably waiting for us or something. We are not going to bite, uh, we are going to just. Try to uh, march our troops toward the victory point and see if we can protect them using the uh, these troops. And maybe these two units can do the work. This regiment can go instead and then try to um, yeah, capture all this before coming back. Because I think the main battle is going to be around here, so we need to situate ourselves here mostly around Kernstown. And now these guys will, um, of course, uh, scout for us. Uh, but then, um, yeah, I need to be also watching out here. Yeah, all right. So let's end the turn and see if the union union is able to advance. And they disappeared, but surely coming. Yeah, they're surely coming. So this guy will have a look over here, and they seem to be digging in for some reason. That's really strange. Of course, I mean they might have a victory point nearby. Maybe they're waiting. Maybe they're waiting for more reinforcement before moving. We can set up right here then. And let me just check. Yeah, I think I think we'll be able to set up here and have a really good view of everything. Let me see if there's any uh, higher point. We can actually advance to here. Um, these guys can advance to here. That would be interesting if I can do that. Yeah, let me try that. Let me try to move 
Um, can I move once again? Yeah. All right. How about now? I think that would be good enough. Yeah. So this guy will try to capture here. Yep, this one. And then now I think we try to set up along the hills. Ooh, they just cut across. Yeah, I could probably read up on what happened at Kernstown and uh, maybe base my strategy on that. But like right now, I, I can definitely see that these hills will be very important. Uh, so we try to climb up the hill and then defend this area. Um, we have to stay together as much as possible because I'm sure that the Union forces will outnumber us. Be nice can get to the forest. I think the natural cover is going to be definitely better. Yeah, one. Um, and uh, let's see. Train moral boost. Not much. Okay, so let's just make a move. So this guy will be the linchpin, I guess. Protecting the left. And these guys will... Um, oops. Yeah, these two guys will... These two regiment will try to... get here. And there's also a way around this area, so I need to watch out. This guy could, um, yeah, come back and then maybe they can cross here. Oh, wow, okay. Found out these guys now coming in. So, um, how many? Um, okay, so we have a lot of these guys coming in, so I need to be very careful. Um, we may have to move these guys back and then form a defensive area around here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and let them just try to uh, climb up the hill as they fight, and then we uh, situate these guys. Um, let's see what we can do here. Seems like we can actually cross across the stream. I think I could send... Send Cummings here. And see what is going on. While the rest of guys will set up their defenses around here. And I think there may be more guys climbing. Okay, so these guys will also come here. Try to avoid direct confrontation. But these guys are all uh, infantry, right? Yes, they are. So that's, uh, yeah, I mean, kind of getting worried because the Union forces are like, oh, wow. So they are able to hit us pretty badly from, the, yeah, from this area. So we need to get out. More reinforcement arrived. Okay. Now this guy will uh, have a look. Um, and then, yeah, these guys are not moving. And you can see they're limbered. And these guys will also move. So we try to get these guys back to the hill. Over here, and then um, these guys will, yeah, so they will be uh, ready to fire, and now these guys will uh, dig in on this hill. Yeah, so just over here, and come up here, I think. Yeah, and then here, and then we we'll try to dig in. These guys will check over here on the other side. Doesn't seem to have anybody. Yet. Okay, let's uh... If I can... Convert all these guys. And then we'll um, get one of these guys right here. And um... Yeah, so I think I sent... One guy to go over here in the back and see if they can uh, march around these guys and then see if they can um, flank them perhaps. I'm not so sure if that's going to work since Union seems to have more men. Um, and I think I need to just uh, keep to it. I think I can spare... 
Yeah, so these guys arrived from the south. Uh, so I think I can spare one more unit. I think these guys to go west. And these guys will... Sorry. And these guys will uh, try to... Try to go here first. And if there's any problem, they'll um, try to clamber up this hill and then help the rest of the guys here in the hill around Kernstown. And now they have arrived, right? These guys, um, 216, DA Longhorn. Uh, I think they can, no, they cannot dig in anymore. These guys can also change their formation. Can they fire? Um, maybe they can, but no, I don't think they can yet. No, sir. They cannot, so they need to skip. All right, so on the turn fast. Oh, wow, look at them. Wow, they're really arriving in force. Okay, so who is this dude? 493. Okay, so let's uh, get, let's give them a uh, cannon shot. Maybe I should target some of these guys in the back. To compare the stats. Okay, so similar. 63, 59, 66. Okay. Wondering where the commander is. Not so sure where they may be. And these guys can definitely wreak havoc. The firepower is 30. Very important unit. So we need to uh, keep a close uh, watch over these guys. Now these guys will try to go to the bridge. And enter the wood. Maybe they can um, harass them. If they have climbed down the hill in order to attack us. And these guys will, sorry, these guys will, yeah, I think, these guys will um, come up here to the church, then can they form, yeah, they can do that. And, um, hmm, yeah, these guys were captured all the points first and now i think this guy could just go up here and now i can uh shoot at this guy maybe i can enter the wood yeah this guy is pretty important indicated by indicated by the star and all the star units are significant um so i guess need to keep a close watch on them it does affect the squad around them. So, um, Fulkerson is affecting all these guys. And maybe this guy, uh, Garnett, is going to affect some of these guys. Um, not really. Yeah, it has to be uh, closer. Yeah, okay. So, can they... Um, I think they can enter here. Maybe I should do that. In March formation. But I guess I have to do that. And this guy will stay. And they really dig in. Um, okay, so supply. Uh, oversupply 25. Okay, I can leave it back. And these guys protect themselves. And... Oh, okay. Um, I guess it kind of missed or something. Doesn't really show the after action report. Uh, these guys will also. Um, yeah, I think they have to dig in. Yeah. And okay, yeah, they already shot. Okay, what can I what can I do with this guy? Um Well I think I can move in and see uh oh, wow, 430, they're coming this way. Alright, okay. They still fight pretty well. Yeah. So we have to see what is going to happen. I think we'll be um Maybe fighting the infantry as they come down here, or they can um, they can help this guy uh, trying to protect his pass. Did I get more reinforcements? No. Nope. Yes, yeah, so that's it. This is going to be the fight, I think. So let's see what happens. Okay, yeah, we're getting hit. Yeah, so three battles. Yeah, three shots, four shots, four artillery, probably, and. Uh, Okay, yes, we lost a little bit there. Wow, so they're going to swamp us. 
I need to be very careful. Alright, so these guys uh, are not going to really make it, so they have to come back here, replaced by these guys. Uh, not going to do well um, either way. So they're trying to harass these guys somewhat. Yeah, let's try that. So these guys, um, most powerful one, I think is this, so I guess I need to. So we didn't really do a great job of that, but. Uh... And then you can see these guys coming in. Once again, so we need to. Uh... Yeah, okay. Formation and. What can you do? Um, dig in? Or just stay there? Alright, so. Yeah, these guys will form as a second line. And these guys will come up here. Yeah, these guys will come up here and then can they change? Yeah, they can change. And we'll get um, this point first and then we capture the one later. And I think, okay, so we didn't get any reinforcements, which is unfortunate. Uh, it'd be nice if I can draw some of these guys to the other side. Uh, and they've, uh, they've come up on the... Yeah, they've come up to the hill, so... I think these guys will be uh, beaten back. And um, I can attack them, it'd be nice, but I don't think I can... Yeah, these guys will be probably driven back in route. Um... I think I need to at least try to make some kind of a some kind of move right here, and uh, we have to um, we need to face these guys right here. Yeah. Okay, can I shoot at them? No. Yeah. So we're going to be facing a huge fight. I think some units will be in route. Yeah. This. Uh, the Union Artillery is uh, focusing on one particular unit, and this is um, not great. We're getting pummeled. Are we holding? Um, well, we're not really. Yeah, now we're going to be uh, driven back. Oh, actually not. Okay, wow, we're holding on. My goodness, that's crazy. Uh, but I think it's going to be pretty... Uh, yeah, these guys will be very bad off. Going to be supplied here and then resting. Yeah, as you can see, this guy is now not doing too well, and these guys too. So um, I think I uh, kind of misjudged the um, the Union strength here. This guy that was trying to come across uh, this area, trying to flank us, has gone back, and I think we need to kind of pull back. Let's see, and yeah, this guy's too strong can hit these guys, but I don't know how effective it's going to be. Wow, yeah, wow. Yeah, there are a lot of men. Um, okay, so this guy has to come back here. And please fight these guys. Then I'm going to have a... So who am I going to hit this guy? And JS Burks. We also um Yeah, I think he's going to be forming uh the line here that they'll be able to place the forces as needed. Point two going to be a similar strength guys. Um, oh, and we can move up and let them engage us. And this guy will capture here and then turn around and then try to come and support us. Okay, so how about, yeah, this is a problem. Um, I can attack these guys, but going to be rather difficult, but I think we might have to do it because it may be too difficult to um, 
there's just too many of them concentrated here. So if I don't get rid of this guy at least, then this guy will be in trouble. I think I can move this guy back and then I'll replace by this, this guy. Yeah, this guy definitely needs to rest. Yeah, I think this guy will need to come down here. And then this guy, or I think this guy could... Then I can um, see the defensive, natural defensive areas. Okay, so this is not going to really work out well for us. Um, natural cover, but morale. Yeah. So yeah, this is the bad news. It's going to be either wet and everything, so the soldiers will have a hard time uh, navigating. So we have to um, try to, uh, yeah. I don't know why they didn't take the bridge, but I guess it's their choice. But I think I need to advance a bit. So, cavalry is not involved. Uh, I think they'll be able to defend, I guess, in a way. Um, I'm worried about the artillery, of course. Hopefully these guys will be able to help somewhat. I think I'll be able to maybe counter them, perhaps. Or maybe not. Um, this guy will have to probably dig in, or maybe they can... Yeah, I guess I'll uh, get them into the wood. Yeah, so uh, some problems are uh, happening. Definite problems. Can I shoot? Right. And these guys will have to defend. And these guys will need to rest. Gain some strength. I'm sure that, I mean, if there will be some kind of difficulty waiting for this particular campaign. Then I think this particular battle might be considered a bit difficult. Uh, but let's just try. Yeah, I'm going to hit the bad. Yeah, oh man, they don't spare us. Yeah, another one. Wow, they're like five artillery. Okay, they are driven out. So, we defended well there. Um, that's kind of washed. Wow. That was pretty bad. Alright, so I think we got the last of the last of the reinforcement and they will have to come very quick because we're in trouble uh, we have to get these guys um, yeah, right away here and then um, start shooting some uh, feds because yeah wow these guys are so strong but I think this guy um, did weather well I mean they weathered some artillery garage uh, this guy will have to come back hopefully I'll be able to make the battle of it and make this guy um, also involved. Uh, we have to dig in, I think. Oh, it's trickle now. Okay. And we have to shoot at this guy without any question. And all these guys are now hurt. Um, significant damages have been done here. So we have to uh, rest. At ease, man. And uh, also have to dig in, I think. Yeah, I think we have to dig in and try to protect this place. Or we can... Okay, so we can probably move here. Yeah, we can move here and then maybe come back around to form uh, some kind of a... Try to protect a flank. Negative one, so it's not going to be that good. But if enemy decides to attack, that they have to cross the bridge and then we get this guy to protect the passage here and if they want to attack then they have to move into the same type of um, terrain they cannot attack from the bridge so yeah I think I move this guy here then yeah, try to form a line around the uh, uh, passage and I think that height is going to be similar and this guy will eventually um, yeah I think they um, will here Next turn, and here, okay, so we're going to rest. How uh, about these guys? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, so we can probably try to dig in. This guy is rather hurt. Okay, Sullivan. This guy can move up here. I can try to dig in. This guy 
kind of a trouble. Um, let's see if I can rest a bit more. Can this guy handle this guy? I'm not so sure. But we just hit them anyways. See if he can, um, yeah, see he can attack. Let's see if I can attack using this guy, but I think this guy will be swamped by this uh, triple strength guys, so I think we need to still dig in here. Yeah, I think I already dug in, so no, no um, I can't really do anything about it. Okay, so who's recovered enough that I think this guy could actually go up here and then um, I get this guy to rest. I already did, and this guy will also rest. At ease, man. Okay, wow, it's a really uh, kind of a hectic battle. Yeah. And um, I think these guys are all now inside. Or I have already made a move. So I'm worried about these guys, of course. And these guys. Oh, okay. So these guys are now um, within in the same hex as the artillery. So I think they can dig in just just like that and try to recover as much as possible. But uh, they can probably pile on. So yeah, I think that's the best I can do though before I can make them um, go back. All right, okay. So let's see what happens. Oh wait, now they, they know that we are coming. Yeah, so at least we are able to uh, divert their uh, artillery shelling. Okay, that's not good. Oh, that sucks. So we got pushed back. Okay, so yeah, bloodletting going on, and uh... Oh boy, okay, so these guys are now in full route, perhaps. We need to protect the artillery, definitely, that's for sure. So that was a pretty difficult uh, <laughs> series of battles. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty difficult series of battles, that's for sure. Okay, now we are trying to uh, manage, a... I don't know what's going to happen here. Uh, they're you know keep hurling their forces here and they have already they already made into the hillside um so there's not much i can do in terms of protecting these guys um uh, i think they have to dig in i think this is our best bet so we try to um yeah okay so let's see what happens here okay uh They have not, yeah, they have not budged yet. Yeah, I can, no, I think that'd be too much. I think we need to keep a watch on what these guys are doing. Yeah, 16 and 21. I think we have to just keep watching over this area. And these guys probably could come, um, yeah, they can probably still fight until they get, they get forced out. I think you just have to hold on, right? I think that's why what it is, right? Okay, it's a bit of threat. Definitely really need to rest. At ease, man. Um 66. Yeah, just too much. I think I need to uh Also dig in, I think. Seventeen. All right, I think I'm going to attack. I don't know whether it's going to really work. Look, JS here to protect the artillery. Can I unlimber? So high it, sir. Okay, so it does have indirect firing going on. Can move here and see. Okay. Can move this guy right here, and then this guy will, of course, rest. And 
and uh, let's yeah we have to just keep together here yeah i already gave an order to rest i think these guys are definitely we have to rest at ease man trickle yeah it's not good at ease man in the middle strength back yeah see if i can uh, just have to see what happens i'm not so sure i mean we do have most amount of victory points but i think i was a bit too aggressive but that was kind of what jackson did right jackson was rather aggressive in his maneuvers and that's what earned him that uh, praise in this campaign so and um, maybe I'll be able to hold on to this hill, then maybe um, maybe it's going to be something that um, is going to help me down the road in the rest of the campaign. To be honest, Jackson did suffer some kind of defeat here. He did suffer the more uh, casualties, but then, you know, the Lincoln um, committed more troops because he thought that Washington DC uh, would be in we would be in trouble if Jackson continued with these aggressive maneuvers and then eventually broke through. So he committed more troops, they would have gone to the other side, toward McLaren, or is it still McDowell? I think it's McLaren on the other side of Virginia, toward Richmond, so I guess it was considered a strategic victory. Okay, so let's go and see um, all the supply uh, without question. Hopefully we need to hold on, uh, this cavalry is not bleeding, I need to change this guy pretty soon, replace this guy. We are getting hurt and um, yeah, they have a fire on the man. And we'll be like... Pushed out, yeah, these guys are being pushed out pretty severely. And now uh, those guys are pushed out, we may have to retreat. Yeah, so we, we are going to be retreating soon. <laughs> Defenders suffered a lot of damage there. Yeah, I'm holding on the damage and... Uh, Wow, this is horrendous amount of damage now. Um, that, we were able to survive that time, but wow, look at that. We were like getting lost in the wilderness. Lost in the wilderness here. Wow, look at that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so this is completely a route uh, happening here. We need to pull back. Um, yeah, I think we need to pull back definitely. Okay, so what what is the turn here right now? Uh, I think it's around turn 11. You can see um, turn 10. Wow, we're just being lost here. Uh, I think it was pretty bad decision to you know allow the Union to concentrate their forces in one single place. So all right. Um, yeah, so we need to uh, pull back somehow. These guys are winning more battles than the... They're really winning a lot of battles here. I think I can keep here for at least one more turn, right? Or are we in serious danger? Even from that, I think we are. But these guys, we need to come back. Yeah, alright, so... Uh, yeah, I think we need to retreat. Uh, I think we are in that fighting form here. Definitely this guy. I think this guy might lose his life or something. Okay, so... Alright. Limber up and then... Try to... Go around here and then fight another day. But I think they'll be in route very soon. Can they actually move somewhere? Um, no, I think I undo. Uh, yeah, move back. I think. Okay, and this guy will try to cover the rear, but I think it's going to be lost cause. All right, so we're pulling back. And these guys are uh, holding on, but I think they also pull back. Yeah, they're just too strong right now, so we need to take these guys off 
And maybe these guys will try to dig in at least for a couple more turns and then stop this guy. And we are suffering some heavy, heavy damage. Yeah, dig in. Yeah, this guy has to come and consolidate around Kern's town, maybe? I'm not so sure. Um, okay, so let's check the natural cover. Alright. Okay. Yeah, so we'll keep our guy here and then try to um, fight over this area as much as possible. Natural cover along this um, river for Hulk Run is uh, negative one. So I can probably make sure that my defenses, if they're able to recover, is able to um, at least buy us some time. This guy can still move, but I think. I'm not so sure. Yeah, we need probably at least um, get this guy to try to protect RP2. RP2? Is it Chinese or something? Anyways. Um, okay, yeah, so let's go. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, we're going to get a mobile. Very, very badly. Yeah, they're in route, full route, unfortunate. Okay, so we're able to fight there. Yeah. It's going to be routed. Okay, so, but this guy, can they recover? Um, still doesn't want to fight, your drip tongue may impress them, however. Spend 290 points. I mean moral point to gain five moral point. Sure. Um, my uh, julep tongue was too stiff. Okay. Um, right. Uh, we need to dig in. And uh, well, I mean, sure. We dig in here. Okay, so let's set up our guy, Mr. Chu here. I think he's going to be um, all right. I think we need to try to spread these guys, split them up. So I get this guy around here. Yeah, he's not really that great uh, right now, doing that great. And uh, we try to get this guy um, onto the road. Yeah. This guy will, um, let's see, yeah, this guy will support these guys, uh, these guys as much as possible, right, away from the cannons. Yeah, okay, so we try to regroup, um, these guys around Kernstown. And this guy, can they still fight? No, I think it's just too much. They try to rest here. Daddy, try man. to get this guy to still fight us and then um, waste troops. This guy will um, yeah, move slowly. Try to cover the rear. And I think these guys will be soon uh, pushed out. Okay, so rather difficult task ahead of us. Um, no, this guy's running, so I don't know whether this guy's will ever recover. This guy, um, well, I mean, he can try to recover around uh, Kernstown, but I think I was too aggressive. I was too aggressive in trying to take the hills, and it uh, had the intended effect of the unions, um, union forces able to amass troops, and then, and basically, uh, yeah, um, just surrounding us and then putting a siege into this area and then we were unable to really endure it. So we need to um, go back to the second line of defense and then try to, you know, set things up at Kernstown and I think that could have been what I should have been doing in the first place. And we try to um, yeah, slowly converge our forces, 
try to around here in order to fight including these guys who's now uh, on the retreat but i don't know how long it's going to really last yeah it's going to be a tall task so i try my best in the next episode so once again thank you for watching and please stay tuned